I like to think about um, translating our data into action. You know, we can tackle complex problems, complex challenges, and come up with really innovative solutions. That's when I was like, industrial hygiene, this is what I've been searching for, this is what I've been looking for. Building healthier workplaces and a healthier world requires a workforce driven by a passion to discover and an infrastructure to support their work. The University of Minnesota's Midwest Center for Occupational Health and Safety is preparing future leaders through an interdisciplinary approach focused on health equality, impacting workers and their communities. There's an energy on the campus of the University of Minnesota, and it's fueled by a diverse faculty that thrives on addressing the challenges of today and tomorrow. It's quite organic in nature, in which we've got um, our faculty from industrial hygiene, from epidemiology, from injury prevention control, and from that clinic setting, we come together um, through the center and what I like to say is we're much more than the sum of our parts. Driven to Discover is a way of life with more than four decades of training and educating occupational safety and health professionals. The beneficiaries of our work include the work environments themselves, the workers themselves, um, our students, and then of course our larger community. It's about making work safer for the workers, for the people. The center's six academic programs support a diverse portfolio. One of these research areas is agriculture. Looking at injuries that are sustained by both large and small farming operations, the service sector, understanding precarious work, and looking at di our diverse work population. We have um, some work that's ongoing in workplace violence. When you start exploring the intersections of the various disciplines, you know, there's new learning and there's innovation. Students are actively engaged in the research. I'm particularly interested in exposure modeling. Applying knowledge to building healthier workplaces and a healthier world. But I do literally want to change the world, but I think a part of it, I just, I just want to start with my community. Future leaders taking a passion for health equity worldwide. I really want to be part of the, the group that's trying to change industrial hygiene and occupational health as it is right now in a lot of sub-Saharan countries. Strategic partnerships are central to research. In, in the agricultural health and safety area with the UMass Center, um, we have a lot of different research projects and, and outreach projects uh, to try to address the many different hazards that are um, part of modern agriculture. From animal and crop agriculture to the air the workers breathe. What are the exposures that farm workers and, and others may have to um, drug resistant um, pathogens in the air because uh, there are a lot of antibiotics used in agriculture and that may influence what uh, could be transmitted to workers. It's really important that the work we do um, really address the injuries, the illnesses that are happening to our um, farm workers. They are the ones that put the food on the table. In order for change to happen, it's good to have evidence-based uh, research, and so it's, it's very important to have that kind of partnership with the School of Public Health. Partnerships, collaboration, and research impacting the real world and the community. Raising awareness on the issue of uh, skin lighting and these chemicals that contain high levels of mercury, you know, talking to state legislatures and making sure that they fund that issue. Dedicated to achieving the goal of reducing work-related injuries and illnesses that burden workers regardless of borders. A safer world is what we aim for, what we, what we envision for our future. Research and training that's impacting the world, but also learning from it. So it is truly a cycle and a circle, research to practice, and then we send our students and our alumni out, and then they bring us back practice to research ideas to complete that circle. And it draws people in. I think it really, it, people want to be here because of that welcoming and that, that uh, collaboration and that interdisciplinary focus.